Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to add shaders to all the mod 6 to the sky. So since this is a new pack, the first thing we want to do, because it's constantly getting updated, is make sure that we have the right Minecraft version. So uh, for this example, I'm using 1.16.5, but if it updates in the future, don't worry, I'll show you what to do. So in order to add shaders, we're going to need two things, Optifine and the shaders themselves. So for Optifine, you'll want to go to optifine.net forward slash downloads. I will have a link in the description for both of this and the shaders. And then for this example, we're on 1.16.5, so we can download this one right here. Now, if this changes in the future and you're watching this, all you have to do is click show all versions and you can scroll down and find whichever one you need. Um, and Optifine itself updates frequently. So if you do encounter an issue where your game's crashing, double check that you have the latest Optifine because sometimes it updates and you need the updated one. So all we're going to do is click on download and then sometimes this takes you to an ad. Yep, here we go. And what we want to do is look in the top right corner where it says, please wait. And this will count down five seconds. And then we get a skip button. Then we simply click that. It'll take us back to this page over here. And then we click download. And we should be able to decide where we want to put it. You can click save and it will download. All right, next up is the shaders. For this example, I'll be using Silda shaders because it does support this version of Minecraft. You always want to double check. Usually it's okay if it's like, at least in the first part, right? Like 1.16.4, uh, this will still work. Um, but you can you can test all your different ones that you want. Um, so this is on shadersmods.com. Uh, once again, a link will be in the description. And for this one, you want to scroll down until you find the downloads, which are right here. Download links for Silda Shaders Pack. And if you have not that good of a computer, you can choose light or medium or high. For this example, just to show you that it works, I will be using the biggest one here. So the extreme volumetric lighting. And then it'll send you to this page here and you click this big blue button. Sometimes there's other blue buttons on the screen. They are not the ones you want to click. You want to click the one right here next to where it says uh, Silda's Vibrant Shaders. Download and it has the size right there. So you click this. It'll open a different page sometimes and it will start downloading. And it might open an ad or something. So you want to quickly close that so that it doesn't do any pop-ups or anything. Once you have both Optifine and the shaders downloaded, what you want to do is go back into where your mod packs are click on the mod pack, so ATM6 to the sky, then to the left of the play button over here, there's three dots. You want to click on this, then click on open folder. What this will do is open the folder for the mod pack, right? And then what we want to do first is go into this mods folder here. So we'll double click to open this, and this is where we're going to put Optifine. All right, so what we're going to do is get our Optifine. You can right click it, click copy, click inside of the folder here, right click and click paste. And you always want to double check that you did everything correctly. So it's in the right folder. It is for the right version of Minecraft. Um, and it's, you know, the latest one. Um, so from here, you don't want to start the game up yet because there's one more thing we have to do for this particular mod pack. And what you want to do is you can close this folder, go back to the three dots, click open folder. So you're right back to this one where you saw the mods folder before. This time we're going to click on config and fix a bug that happens when you uh, use op uh, Optifine and shaders. So what we want to do is scroll down and look for Astral Sorcery dash client. So Astral Sorcery dash client, this one right here. You wanna open it up and it should open up into a nice notepad. And then what you wanna look for is sky rendering enabled equals, and then it has uh, quotes, Minecraft overworld. So that just means that it's gonna render their version of the sky in the Minecraft overworld. We don't actually want that. So what we can do is highlight the quotes and everything in it and just delete it. So there we go, it's nice and empty. Make sure you save it, so control S, close it. If you want to double check, open it back up. Yep, okay, there's nothing there, beautiful. Now what we have to do is simply load up the game. Alrighty, once the, pa uh, uh, the mod pack is loaded, you want to click on options, go into video settings, and now if Optifine was installed correctly, you should see this shaders option. If this isn't here, that means something went wrong when you were installing Optifine, you might want to go and rewatch that part. Um, so what we want to do now is click on shaders, then click in the bottom left here, shaders folder, and that should open up a little folder here. And then what we want to do is grab our Silda's shaders that we downloaded or whichever shaders you want. Right click it, click copy, go back into this shaders pack folder, right click and click paste. And as you see, it updates in here. Then what you want to do is click on this once, because once you click on it, it'll start loading and you don't want to start spam clicking or doing anything like that because the pack might crash. And if the pack does crash, which is actually quite likely, in fact, mine will probably crash for this demonstration, all you want to do is just reload the pack up. 
And then if you check in the shaders options, it should be selected and applied. So you click it once, you let it do its thing. If it crashes, that's fine. Load the pack back up and it should be ready. All right, so for me, it actually crashed here. So all I'm going to do is click play again. And sometimes it, yeah, it, it'll say that you've already joined because it, it hasn't finished crashing or whatever, or it doesn't realize it's crashed. You can just click start anyway, and it should be fine. And once again, we'll wait for it to load up and we'll check to see if the shaders have applied correctly. All right, here we go. It is loaded up. So what we're going to do is check out to see if the shaders are installed. So head into the shaders. And as you can see, they are already selected, which means, you know, you, you can uh, change all the options. You can make the torches do white light, which is pretty cool. Um... Anyway, we're going to hop into a into a game and make sure that it's actually working for you guys. So, create a new world, and I'll meet you guys in there. Alrighty, it appears as though the pack has loaded, or the world, I guess. So, here we go. As you can see, that looks like a very shadery sky. Um, you should be able to see my shadow right there, and apparently in the void, which looks pretty spooky. Um, but yeah, and the sky looks normal because we uh, changed the astral source reconfig. So, if your sky looks weird... You might want to go back and double check you did the astral sorcery part um, in the configs. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. If this did help you, please do consider subscribing. It helps my channel out quite a lot. Um, I also have a series I'm doing at the moment on this mod pack, which is pretty fun. And we have a server for the mod pack. So if you want to join that, head over to my Discord below. You'll just need to grab the IP from there. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one, hopefully. Goodbye. Oh, and if you have any questions, please do let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to try and help. Usually. Everyone has the same sort of issue, so, you know, I, I can help you out. Um, yeah, goodbye.